Now, after understanding the concept of Mohr circle, let's have a look at the question on Mohr circle. The question says, at a point in a piece of elastic material, there are three mutually perpendicular planes on which the stresses are as follows. So, on one plane, you have a tensile stress of 50 MPa and a shear stress of 40 MPa. On the second plane, we have a compressive stress of 35 MPa and a complementary shear stress of 40 MPa, which is complementary to the above shear stress. There is no stress on the third plane, which is, uh, you know, most of the cases you will find like this. Find the principal stresses and the position of the plane on which they act. So it's a straightforward question on the application of Mohr circle. Okay. So we'll draw one by one. So we know that the normal stress, whether tensile or whether compressive, is drawn as a horizontal line in Mohr circle. And the shear stress is given as a vertical line. Okay, just remember this. So let's start. We'll draw first of all for this plane. So let us say you start at point P. At point P. Let me mark off a line. Let me just draw a line like this. Okay. Let me just mark a point N. So PN is representing this 50 MPa. So PN is 50 MPa. 50. Then shear stress, as I told you, is vertical. So this is sigma and this is tau. So from N, I will draw a line like this. And I will mark a point R over here. So I'll have to first of all assume a scale, and then accordingly I'll have to uh, strike off these distances. So NR is 40. Okay, so this is representing the stress. So I'll write down 50 MPa and 40 MPa. It, if you are taking that scale, then 50 MPa would be equal to 50 mm. That is one megapascal equal to one mm. Okay, so you can take the scale as per your convenience. So this is for one plane. Let's come to the second plane that is compressive stress of 35. So now I'll have to go in the backward direction. So I'll mark a point, let us say N dash. So P N dash is representing minus 35. Okay, and a shear stress of 40. So this is a complementary shear stress. So this would go down like this. 40, this is R dash. So N dash R dash is equal to 40 MPa. So this is the second one for the second plane. Now what will I do? I will join the point R and R dash. Okay, so let's join these points. Let's join this point like this. Okay. So where it cuts the horizontal line, I'll name that point as point O. I will take the radius as OR 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 dash and I will draw a circle. Like this. So this is the Mohr circle that you will draw. Okay, this is 2 theta. So now let's start calculating. Let's first of all uh, find out the value for ON because we know NR is 40. So let's find out ON. How much is ON? ON is nothing but the half of NN dash. Okay, ON. O n will be equal to 1 by 2 of n n dash. So n n dash is how much? This is 35. This is 40, 50. So 50 plus 35 is 85 by 2 is 42.5.
so on is 42.5 right now let's find out or so this is the right angle triangle i have on i have nr i can easily find out or so or would be nothing but under root of square of this plus square of this so this would be this would be on square plus nr square so when you find that value you get the value for or so or would be equal to 58.4 okay now with this coming into picture i'm still not finding out the principal stresses as of now i can find out the position of the plane the position of the plane can be found out by finding out this and this so tan 2 theta tan 2 theta is equal to perpendicular upon base so 2 theta would be equal to tan inverse 40 upon 42.5 so this would give you a value for theta as 21 degree 40 minutes so 21 degree 40 minutes is the position on the plane on which the principal stresses will act still we don't have the principal stresses so this is point l and that is point m okay so the principal stresses are nothing but the the, the distance of uh, p and l and p and m so you will find out sigma 1 as pl and sigma 2 as pm so this is what we have to find out if I have to find out the value for PL, that is sigma 1, so PL is equal to OL minus OP. Okay. So the value of PL is OL minus OP. Now, how do you find OP? Okay. OP or PO, PO, this is equal to PN minus ON. So we know PN, PN is 50. We have found out ON which is 42.5. I can easily calculate PO. So OP or OP. So it is 50 minus 42.5 that is 7.5. Okay. So PO or OP. Let's write down 7.5. Which is equal to PN minus ON. PN minus ON. Okay. We have got that. Now let's find out the value for sigma 1 or whatever it is, PL. So PL is OL minus OP. Now how much is OL? OL over here is nothing but the radius. Radius is equal to OR. Now how much is OR over here? 58.4. So 58.4 minus OP which is 7.5. So this will give you the first principal stress and because it is towards the left hand side it would be compressive so this will be a negative stress a compressive stress okay next is finding out pm so pm is equal to po plus om po plus om now what is po we just found out seven and a half what is om om is nothing but the radius, radius is OR which is 58.4. So this would be a positive stress because it is towards the right hand side of the origin. So this is how you draw a Mohr circle and find out the principal stresses. So this is the first principal stress and this is the second principal stress. And the orientation can be found out by using this methodology so i hope you understood this uh, very simple and a very basic question on the concept of Mohr stress circle so this is all that we have to do in this uh, you know chapter of complex stresses and strains now let's move on to the next chapter and talk about the bending stress diagram and the shear force diagram